Eurovision to continue in with second semi-final. The Eurovision Song Contest will continue on Thursday night as countries including Austria, Poland and Armenia take to the stage for the second semi-final. 16 acts will compete, with only the top 10 progressing to the grand final on Saturday. Alicia Dixon, Hannah Wardingham and Ukrainian singer Julia Sanana will return as hosts after helping to kick off the contest in earnest earlier this week. Thursday is this year considered the less competitive of the two semi-finals, though a number of fan favorites are still set to perform. Polish pop singer Blanka looks likely to make an impact with her track solo, a summary tune with a catchy hook reminiscent of Ariana Grande's music. Andrew Lambrou, from Cyprus, will also deliver a rendition of his emotive ballad Break a Broken Heart against a backdrop of dramatic animated waterfalls. One of the more quirky acts will be Taya and Selena, the first female duo to compete for Austria at the contest. Who will perform their dance pop track Who the Hell is Edgar? The catchy song is about being possessed by the ghost of 19th century horror author Edgar Allan Poe. But is also a commentary on the struggle of female writers to be taken seriously. On Tuesday night, 15 acts competed in the first semi-final. Wild Youth representing Ireland, were eliminated while Laureen from Sweden and Karaja from Finland sailed through following the public vote. As the defending champions, Ukraine automatically qualifies for the grand final. The so-called Big Five the UK, France, Germany, Italy and Spain, each get a free pass because of their financial contributions to the event. In a change for 2023, only viewers' votes will decide which countries qualify onwards from the semi-final stage. This means acts will not have to face the judges until they reach the grand final stage. The first Eurovision semi-final saw 2, 3 million viewers tune in on average, based on overnight figures released by the BBC. The second semi-final will be broadcast from 8pm on BBC One on Thursday.